will be going for his second gold cup. Scott Pearson, the Mr. Pringles, seems to have the boat running fast and is after his first gold cup. And Larry Lauterbach in the Winston Eagle is looking for this win to even the season for his team. ESPN presents the HFC American Hydroplane Series. This ninth stop, the Budweiser APBA Gold Cup. The world's fastest race boats are here on Mission Bay in San Diego, California to do battle for the most prestigious award in powerboat racing, the coveted Gold Cup. National points are also at stake as these power boats reach straightaway speeds approaching 200 miles per hour, all of them aiming at a Gold Cup championship. The HFC American Hydroplane Series, this 1989 Budweiser APBA Gold Cup is sponsored by Household Finance Corporation, America's financial leader. Pringles, the fever reliever. Blockbuster Video, America's family video store. I'm Jim Hendrick, along with Dick Crippen, here on the shores of Mission Bay, San Diego, California. We have a saltwater course two and a half miles in circumference, largest course of the race on all year, and speeds in qualifying, Dick, phenomenal. Well, it's always been the fastest course, and no question about it. Chip Hanauer goes out in qualifying, hits 158.2 for an average of two laps. That's, that's just unbelievable. Everybody absolutely dead stopped in the pits when he did that. And this is a course where the turbines last year had all sorts of problems. We had all the turbines go down in the, by the final heat, so none of them were even competing when uh, the finish was finally out. The Circus Circus, of course, did that flip and that famous, as you see in our opening of our program, two boats at one time. That was right here. The other turbines had problems. George Woods took it all in Old Boy Alberto. But this is the Gold Cup, and Chip Hanauer is looking for his eighth consecutive Gold Cup win, while Tommy Deeth is looking for his first since 1976. And I hate to keep harping on it, but salt water may be the difference if it's kind of one and not kind of the other because Chip has won gold cups here on the salt water, so we'll just have to wait and see. Now let's go down to the pits and call in Mark Spencer. Thanks a lot, Jim. Stop nine on the 1989 tour, and after eight races, the scorecard reads like this. Turbine-powered boats have six wins. The piston-powered boats have two. But here in San Diego, with saltwater contend with, we just may see a little leveling of that scorecard this afternoon. It's the Gold Cup. There's always anticipation in the pits, but this one is special. It's the Indy 500 of boat racing. I'm not going to try to predict whether Chip Hanauer can win his eighth Gold Cup, but this much I know for sure. We've got a long way to go. In the qualifying heats, we'll run three instead of two, and in the final, we'll make six laps instead of five. Back to you. All right, Mark, now let's check the blockbuster weather, if you will, Dick Crippen. All right, 82 degrees for the temperature, 78% humidity, southwest winds about 10 to 15 knots, a little overcast. There is a chance of rain, and we're going to have to keep an eye on it because if it does start raining, that means usually there's some sort of a front coming through, and it could pick up the winds a little bit. Twelve boats have qualified for the 1989 Budweiser APBA Gold Cup. We have a lot of action coming right up, and we'll be right back with all that action. 